self-actualization. It's dictionary meaning is the realization or fulfillment of one's talents and potentialities, especially considered as a drive or need present in everyone. Allow me to say that this meditation will not instantly give you that. Only your life's best teacher can give you that. Experience is that teacher that you will meet in living. Wow. It is best to know that meditations in this series are a means to an end and not an end in themselves. Yeah, you heard it before. See, they're not meant to perpetuate red pill rage or manospheric pandering. No shade at all, y'all. See, what it started as a reflection on the 33 strategies of war by Robert Greene turned out to be a series on meditating to promote the path to self-actualization. Now, Psyche Soap is not the soft soap. Psyche Soap is the cleansing agent to your mind. It's the cleansing agent to your mind after that rage, man. See, there's a lot of dirt in the rage, so I posit these videos upon you to help you love yourselves as men, even if you don't embrace the acronym, all right? See, this is what I had learned in the last two weeks. Many detractors of this philosophy often accuse us of not only outer directed hate toward women and others, but also self-hate. There are many paths to self-actualization. Yeah, I say it a lot. Self-hate is one of those barricades with the road closed sign on it. So, consider this exercise. Here's how you prep, man. Monitor any self-talk for a day. If you do talk to yourself, out loud or within. Notice how much of what you say to yourself is negative. Now, it may bowl up as, I'm a fool for doing that. Or I should have never spent my money on that. Stuff like that. One. Sit on a cushion or a chair in a quiet place. This is how I usually start this. Now, visualize your higher power. Sitting right in front of you. Across the table. Or, you know, like next to you. If you're on your desk. You know. It could be Jesus. It could be Buddha, it could be Muhammad, I don't know, Yoda or the universe itself. Heck, man, it could be a wiser, future, more self-actualized version of you. Alright? Hope I covered it. Two, imagine your higher power nodding back at you with great respect. And some compassion, too, accepting you as you are. See, understand that he does not demand that you fix anything about yourself to deserve his respect. Know, however, that he accepts you as you are. Yet he also knows how great you can be. So treat yourself with kindness and respect, man. As your higher power or your higher self as you already do. Three. Thank your higher power or your higher self for reminding you to be kind toward yourself. Tell him that with their help and encouragement you'll overcome the depression and all of that bullshit after the rage and will encourage yourself to love yourself exactly as you are. Promise to that higher self or that higher power that you'll strive to be the man you know you are by living your life, realizing your talents and potentialities. Go your own fucking way, gentlemen. See, I don't have all the answers, brothers. Excuse me for my prescriptive approach. This is for all men. The end game, scare quotes on end game. For going my own way is at the very last thought in my mind within the last beat of my heart is to know and feel that I went my own way. 
share the men that may need a red pill. Like it if you stumbled upon this video and made it this far. Subscribe and bang the bell if you want to see me again. Don't forget my backup channels, men. And donate to Veterans Outreach and Channel Improvements. I got a cash app in crypto, and no, I won't even angry me tell you, man. Live in cheaply. I'm a part of expressionism that would rather keep itself quiet. I think that the concept of culture shock is bullshit. Day old barbecue sauce reeking of pencil sharpener shavings. TV dinner sandwich flesh out of its main entree. Frugal, cheap, and as calculated as the madness that teaches me more. More 